So I was just hit with this crazy vision. But it was the first, and the first is always the hardest in every market. Wow. Wouldn't it be cool if we got the whole mm -hmm. area, the south of the country, from the Red Sea to the Dead Sea, to go 100% daytime solar by 2020? Like, I was just, like, on fire about that. It was just like... Yeah, it's not going to happen. It's, 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 it's technically not feasible. Financially, it's not feasible. So we built this first field, yeah. and you're somehow victorious. <laughs> what was the battle to get this approved? What was the battle to get through the, the red tape on this on this project? So the state would essentially, the first megawatts would have to essentially be subsidized to be able to jumpstart an entire industry. So you can understand some objection. There's no technical expertise in the country. The yeah. gas companies, everybody tried and no one could break through. And I think because we were coming from a place of values, because we wanted to do something majestic and good for the environment as well, we, they reluctantly gave us like uh, a pass when they opened the doors just a little bit. Did you see a substantial shift in the way people look the, the notion of clean or green energy after this happened or during the process? Was there something click we, in the, we in the saw heads of people? Really clearly, 14 years later, <laughs> in other words, today. Today, we're celebrating a whole year. This is the first region in the world to be 100% solar powered during the day. Amazing. Yosef and his team had to do everything from raising capital to lobbying for changes to Israeli energy laws. In the process, the minds and hearts of Israeli leaders were opened and they welcomed solar energy to this country. But Yosef didn't stop there. So there are 600 million people in Africa without access to power. And the population of the continent is going to double in one generation. Wow. The most important value to me is that we're all created in God's image. And that, therefore, we're all endowed with the right to dignity. The dignity of real education, can't have it without power. Dignity of health care. The dignity of a job and a growing economy that, that, that needs to be able to create these jobs. None of it is possible without electricity. In the Bible, in the Garden of Eden, God creates a beautiful universe and gifts it to humanity to work it and to also guard it. So what's stronger than partnering with an orphan youth village and having that income cover uh, all the health care costs plus, you know, for 500 orphans? So it's all, it's all connected. This is like, uh, um, I'm actually, um, I had a last for words. Yosef is someone who practices what he preaches. His own nuclear family reflects his desire to impact those in need. 